I'm Andy Covell. I work with my partner Justin Parker. We like to explore what glass does and what it can do. The piece that's laid out here is for a chandelier, and it's a chandelier that's supposed to represent water dripping down panes of glass. These pieces here are called log, and these pieces are actually made by blowing into a rotted out hollow piece of wood. When I describe what I do, I never say I'm a glass blower, and I never really wanted to be a glass blower. I really just wanted to use it as a material and to add to the vocabulary of materials that I use in my artwork. The tools that we use for shaping glass, cherry wood or any type of fruit wood, and then these are the ones that we use every day and the blades are almost gone because they're about 10 years old. We're going to make one of these. It's supposed to look like a drop of water caught in suspended animation. So we'll start with a bar like this, break off a little piece, bring it up to 1,000 degrees, which is what she has over there. I like to start from a drawing, and then I take the drawing and try to make a piece out of it. I try not to think of whether it's possible to make or not while I'm sketching it. I think that some of the pieces that are the most complicated or difficult to actualize once we get them together, they're usually some of our favorite pieces. So the neck of the piece really accentuates the length of the bulb, and the bulb is stuck in with a rubber stopper. These are hand sculpted, and um, it's pretty intricate. The skulls are all made out of recycled glass or out of beer bottles, depending on what size we do them. So the idea is to keep this really even, and then blow your bubble up into it. What we do is automated. We do use molds, but we make them all by hand. I love molded glass. It's one of my favorite forms of glass because with glass, if it's shaped organically, the shapes are a little bit limited as far as what you can arrive at with your own hands and the tools that we use. Most of the days, we're really just factory workers. We're really kind of working on an assembly line, and we're uh, creating the same piece over and over. A lot of glass artists will work for hours on the same piece, and I think a lot of that has to do with our patience level. Basically, we gain our inspiration from things in everyday life, from everything that we see and do and experience. And we wanted to reflect that in a way that was less egocentric, that you know they are creations and they're original creations, but they're inspired from everything surrounding us. Mm -hmm.